He has a very poor memory. <laughs> and I'll tell you why he can't get rid of me. <laughs> okay? Pictures. It's not because it's not because our grandmothers came from the same Dalmatian coast off different islands. It's not because our grandmothers went to the same Catholic church in Anacortes. It's not because Paul and I played football together. It's not because he and I played basketball together. It's because he and I double dated together. <laughs> <laughs> and Lita, for the right price, I'll suck in my diary. <laughs> well, it's also because Maria sends me a box for Christmas <laughs> with good things in it. Uh, okay, we'll try to run through this. <laughs> but again, I have to set the stage for everybody. Now, who hasn't seen this? Over here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, you got to get the full benefit this way, right here. <laughs> Think of Anacortes back in 1955, and then know you weren't even born there, or even being thought of being born at that point. But anyway, this story starts back then. And the uh, story that Man in the Great Flannel Suit just came out, and it was a book and a movie. And obviously in the movie, this guy wore a great flannel suit. In Anacortes, we had two men's stores, Brown Brothers and Jim Noble. They both sold men's suits. Jim Noble's store had Good Oil Gloria. Brown Brothers was a little and, more upbeat. And he didn't turn on the lights to save, <laughs> he didn't turn on the lights to save the uh, cost. He turned on the lights when the customer came in. <laughs> so anyway, it was, uh, during those days, when Paul and I were in high school, that young men in high school had two suits which gave them four combinations. A tweed gray suit and a blue suit. suit. So you could switch top and bottom. You get four, four outfits out of the two suits. Anyway, big uh, homecoming games coming up, Paul's senior year. And he goes down to Brown Brothers to buy a coat, and his mother gave him specific instructions because his mother was really a fine lady, had great taste, and really had some outstanding children, including Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Paul goes down to Brown Brothers. Now, at that time, Benny Moran was kind of the floor manager, and Benny Moran hated to lose a sale. Absolutely hated. So Paul goes down. In fact, in fact, he's driving his dad's 1948 Buick, which I wrote in many times. Double dating. <laughs> okay. So he gets down to Brown Brothers. Brown Brothers puts him in the suit. Paul leaves the store and goes home to show his mother the suit that he bought. The mom takes one look at the suit and says, Paul, the lapel stuck up in the air. Go back to Benny's and tell him you want that fixed or a new suit. Paul hops in 1948 duty, rides on the Brown Brothers, comes in the door, goes up to Benny Moran and says, look at this lapel won't stay down. Not wanting to lose the sale. Benny Moran says, well, no problem. Just keep like this for a while. Go flatten that out. So Paul leaves the store, goes out to the car like this, gets in the car, goes home, comes in the house, he says, Okay, mom, how's it look now? She says, Well, you're doing a pretty good job, Paul, but one sleeve is shorter than the other one. So he looks and by golly, one sleeve is shorter than the other one. His mother says, Go back to Benny's, I want this fixed. Okay, back in the 1948. Do it down to Brown Brothers he goes, comes in the store and says, Benny, I'm working on this. Good look at One sleeve is shorter than the other. Then he looks at it and then he says, no problem, Paul. Just stretch it up. Okay, so Paul leaves the store, walks over to his 48 foot, <laughs> hops in, drives home, comes in the house, and his, he says to his mom, how do you like my suit now, mom? And she says, you're doing a great job, Paul, on the sleeve and on the lapel, but 
the seam of your pants is on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> he goes down, jumps in the 48 viewing, drives on in Benny Moran's, comes to the store. Benny he says, I'm working on a lapel. I'm working on the sleeve, but look at this. The seams are on the wrong side. Benny looks for a minute, doesn't want to lose a sale. He says, no problem, Paul. He says, all you have to do is put it in like this. <laughs> And you're okay, so Paul gets the store, <laughs> walks out to his 48 Buick, and while he's walking down the floor, store on the street, Paul is an outstanding athlete. And here comes his basketball coach, Bill Taylor, <laughs> and the football coach, Von Weber. So they see him. And Bill Taylor says, because it's almost basketball season, football season's over with. Bill Taylor says, My God, what happened to Paul? And the football coach says, I don't know, but where in the hell you get that good looking suit? <laughs> <laughs>